Mary Chrysler! Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tara, and today I'm going to be showing you my Christmas room decorations. Now, this year I really don't have that many Christmas decorations up. Um, in past years I have had a lot more, but I don't know. I guess I got rid of some things and stuff changed, and I didn't want to put more holes in my wall and all kinds of things like that. So this year just have a minimal amount, but I still want to show you guys because it's almost Christmas. So crazy. Wow. Alright, so first I have this cute little garland I got from the dollar store. I just hung it on my makeup hair station. Just makes it way more festive. Then I have a long strand of twinkly lights that goes all across my bedroom. Just makes it so wintry and festive and bright in my bedroom during the winter. Like when it's dark, I can just turn them on and it's like, ah. Up in my door frame, I have some jingle bells that I hung up. These are just ornaments from Dollar Tree. Then I have this other little thing I got as a gift last year. It's a deer. Cute, sparkly. A candle. This is black cherry scented. It's very smelly, yummy. This is my Christmas drawer, so you can't see that. Secrets, you know. My Christmas calendar, or December, has a polar bear. And then I got this cute little Come Let's Adore Him note card from a friend. And then this is a DIY thing that I made. In the video, you can check the card up above to see how I made it. And this is my Santa baby that I got my first Christmas. And then, last but not least, da -da -da, snow globes. I have a large collection. These are the Christmassy ones, and there's spring, summer ones in the back. So that's all of those. And I wonder, like, hmm, what kind of decor do you guys have? Oh. Plus a story time, so I hurt my wrist a while back, and then a couple weeks ago I went to my well child visit, and then the doctor there referred me to a hand wrist special doctor, and so I finally went to see him last week, and he, good news is, doesn't know what's wrong with my wrist, bad news is, he doesn't know what's wrong with my wrist, and the thing is, there's obviously something wrong with it, and I took three x-rays, and he felt it while I moved it in a bunch of like rotation, bending, grip strength, all kinds of things like that. Couldn't find out what's wrong. So now, um, because of insurance and stuff like that, the next step would be to get an MRI, which is really expensive. So they want, or he wants me to wear a brace for six weeks straight, wearing it like 23-7, only taking it off to shower. You know, I take it off a couple times to wash my hands throughout the day because it gets kind of sweaty under there uh, and gross. And like when I braid my hair, I usually take it off because I can't really like do all this with this thing on not that well not that easily um so yeah that's my story time so now i'm wearing this for the next six weeks and that means no gymnastics which i love and i'm gonna miss so much probably gonna lose some of my skills but i'm hopeful that i will gain some new ones basically an aerial and i'm like i better get really flexible legs really strong legs strong abs and all that during this time because otherwise it's going to be not worth it at all. Well, I don't know. Oh, another d I should show my Christmas clothes. Okay, so I'm going to go add something to this video real quick because I just had the best idea. So, um, keep watching. So basically, I realized I should show you guys the Christmas clothes I own. Or Christmassy, wintry, you know, like Christmas sweater, Christmas socks, whatever, whatnot. Because that's basically all I have. Anyway, I'm going to go show you guys those real quick. Let's go. First, I have Christmas socks. Like, technically, these are like winter socks. But let me show you. The red and white stripes with penguins on them. Super cute. Very warm and fuzzy. Um, I got these last winter. And they have like the little grip thingies. But they all fall off because this used to be covered. And now it's not, and they're like dangling, but it's okay, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's so fun. Okay, next. <laughs> okay, so this isn't really like a Christmas shirt because I wear it during the summer and every other season, but it is red and white stripes, so you know. That's cool. And then there's. <laughs> no, that's one. Oh, side note. So for my side note, basically it's just me saying I have a lot of maroon shirts that aren't Christmassy because I wear them year round and I don't really care when I wear them. But just to let you know, I have a lot of maroon things. I'm not really sure why. Okay, then back to the regular. Okay, so next I have this Christmas sweater. And this is actually one of my favorite things. Like, 
ever. It's super warm and comfy and it's kind of long so you could wear it with leggings. And that would be because it's a medium like men's. Because my brother, my oldest brother, he bought this at maybe two Christmases ago or so. He shrunk it, so he gave it to me. And then he ended up getting another one for himself and for his then girlfriend, now wife. Or then fiance, now wife. Whatever. So they have matching and I have matching. So it's kind of like I'm third wheeling. But it's okay. Because I love it so much. Oh, my back. Did you hear that? My back. I went lean back and my back just like crack. Weird. Alright, so I don't know if this is really like Christmassy. It's kind of Christmassy wintry plants. It's red and white and it's cute. This also happens to be from Old Navy, but I did not buy it there. I got it from elsewhere. So yeah. Then I have my actual like Christmassy shirt. Well, long sleeve, not really a sweater. And then it gets long on the sides. You can wear leggings, jeans, whatever. Um has two deers or like in love, kissy. I don't know. But it's cute and my sister and I have matching ones, so that's cool. Then I have this winter Christmas sweater, um, snowman. Got this from Goodwill, I think, or something at my church. So, yeah. It's nice. It's, like, warm, cute. I've only worn it once, actually, but I do like it. Okay, so this is, I, I don't even know if I've worn it yet this year. No, I have. I've worn it once, yet, so it's part of the season. But it's, like, wintry, kind of... I don't know. I don't want to show you all my sweaters. Because I have like other ones too that I'm not showing you. But I guess because this one has red so it's kind of Christmassy and it has kind of hearts. But yeah. Okay, so next is socks. And I have a good amount of those. A couple of them are in the wash so you won't be able to see them. But I have these cute little long ones. And they have little thingies. You know, they're like kind of Christmassy because red and green. And they're cute. Then I have these ones, which are very Christmassy, and these have little Santa Clauses on them. So cute, with the lights. Um, those both are from Target, I think. Yeah, they're from Target. No! <gasps> Sorry, they're not from Target. They're from JCPenney. I got them there. There's a sale on Black Friday time around then. Yes. So, yeah. Alright, then I have these penguin socks, wintry, penguiny. These are also from JCPenney at the same Black Friday-ish sale. Then I have these penguin and desert socks, which are from last year, so they're kind of grungy because they're not, like, thin and not the best. But I really like them because they're really cute and I get compliments on them in comments, so those are cool. Not sure where they're from. They're a gift to me. And I have another pair of squirrels in snow, but those ones are in the wash, I guess, or I just couldn't find them. So I don't know where they are, really, but those ones are cool, too. Alright, so last but not least, I have... Some polar bear socks. They're really cute. These are from Old Navy. They had a sale on Black Friday. One dollar socks. So I got a bunch of these fuzzy socks. So warm and fuzzy. Like. <gasps> Put my socks away. So that's all I have. That's Christmassy. All my clothing and decorations in my bedroom. Um, obviously my family has stuff downstairs. But I'm not going to show you all that. And. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And a very merry Merry spectacular Christmas to you. I hope you are able to feel the true spirit of Christmas of Jesus' birth and celebrating that. Also able to have fun with your family and friends and giving and receiving gifts and food and community and fellowship and Christmas Eve services and all that. I pray you'll have a blessed Christmas and a happy um, holidays and Christmas break and everything. I'm just rambling now. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Bye. I love you. Sock back on.